Well, there's this guy in my calculus class. Who is it? It's a senior. His name's Aaron Samuels. <gasps> no, 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 oh, no. You can't like Aaron Samuels. That's Regina's ex-boyfriend. They went out for a year. Yeah, and then she was devastated when he broke up with her last summer. I thought she dumped him for Shane Oman. Wait, okay, irregardless, ex-boyfriends are just off limits to friends. I mean, that is just like the rules of feminism. It's girl code. <laughs> we learned from Mean Girls not to date our friend's ex, but Taylor Swift is saying, hey, ladies, go for it. In the new issue of Vanity Fair, the pop star reveals that she and her friends, her girlfriends, they do sometimes date the same people, and none of them mind. But is dating your friend's ex ever okay? Here to weigh in, former Miss America, uh, Kristen Haglund, a comedian Ryan Reese, and CEO of Ruby Media, Chris Ruby. Thanks for being with us, guys. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. And you know what, Ryan, since you're outnumbered, it reminds me of our next uh, show. Uh, <laughs> To date your friend's ex. Well, all right. First off, I try to live my life by whatever Taylor Swift says. I feel like that's because yeah. a player's gonna play, 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 play. Right? Got to shake it off. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> well, yeah, of course Taylor Swift is okay with dating her friend's exes. She's dated everybody. I don't see <laughs> right. how she has much of an option. Yeah. Well, and she maybe doesn't have the best record with boyfriends, but she is known as being a great girlfriend, right? You know, they post all over Instagram. So I'm okay with maybe taking advice from her, so long as you're not Katy Perry, right? Um, I think it's fine, you know, and communication is key. Talk to your friend. If you want to date their ex, um, make sure you're open about it, and then go from there. The rules have changed. We've moved on, and I think she's totally right. And the rules have changed, right, Ruby, with social media. I mean, what is an ex? Does that mean that you put it on Facebook, that you're in a relationship where it's complicated? If you've just gone out on a couple of dates, does it matter? Okay, here's the thing. I completely disagree with Taylor Swift, and I think she needs to stick to what she's good at, right, which is music, and not advice on relationships. So um, if you go out with someone from Tinder, for example, for a few dates, no, that's not an ex. If you've gone out with someone for over a year, then that is an ex, and you still shouldn't go out with them. Yeah. I, I can yes, no, is it yeah, different yeah. for guys and girls? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's just a couple of dates, who cares? But if someone's trying to date a girl you've been with for five years, that can't happen. That girl that's has too many good. secrets. That you know, no, She has but, too much no, information. No, but is it different for, for girls to date guys that their girlfriends have dated and, and similar for... With, with the guys, there's an off-the-table rule, meaning if I've gone out with a girl a couple of times and you want to ask her out, I think that's fine. But if I was in a serious relationship okay. with her for four or five years, that's... That's hands off. Okay, topic number two. There's a new study out that says women are hurt more by breakups initially, but men have this long lasting impact. They may feel it months or even years down the line, even if initially off the top, they're just fine. What do you think about that, Ryan? You know, I agree with this study. Although the judge said it was stalking, I don't think. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were just trying to get over her, right? Was Nathan? it a Dear John letter? Was it a restraining okay, order? You know. Who's to say? I mean, right. I don't like to point those fingers. Uh, you know, I don't. Breakups are hard, but women have support groups. It's, yeah. it's very unfair. Yeah, like, Ben and Jerry's, right? Eight right. right. of your friends come out. over, they have ice cream, they have movies. <laughs> you, as right. a guy, you can't call your friend and be like, I miss my girlfriend. They yeah. Laugh at you. yeah, yeah, you can. I think guys can get away with that a lot better than they think. But um, here's the thing girls invest more in all of their relationships, not just with guys, but with women as well, with family. So naturally, they're going to feel a lot more pain. But what I thought was so ironic about this study is that, yeah, men felt like they had a harder time moving on because they felt like the loss that they have to get back in the game and compete yeah, again for crazy. women. Like, well, how self-centered is that? You know, like, oh, shucks, I got to start all over again from the do. beginning with someone. You Please. do. Finally, Ruby. That, that study was completely flawed. We have to compete, too, okay? It's not just the men that have to get back out there and <laughs> jump right. in their game again. What about the women? Hello? Women, women are yeah. usually the ones who do the breaking up. Women plan breakups. Mm, that is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that is mean. Right, right, right because we got to let you sure, down easy so that you can get back in the pool. We have to leave it there. Sorry for all the broken hearts out there. Help us, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you so much. 28 minutes after.